And the head of the Congressional Planned Parenthood investigation demands full cooperation from STEM Express. That fetal tissue procurement company has yet to comply with subpoenas for a number of documents. Tennessee Representative Marsha Blackburn sent a letter today to STEM Express's CEO saying, we have yet to receive accounting, banking, and other business documents for which subpoenas were issued to STEM Express. Instead, we have received attorney-created estimates and summaries without backup materials. The committee is investigating charges Planned Parenthood profited from the sale of aborted baby parts. Most of the witnesses at a recent hearing agree the panel needs more records to determine the level of involvement of STEM Express. Jeannie Mancini, president of March for Life, is with us. What do you find most striking about this investigation, Jeannie? You know what's most striking is how widespread this problem is. I mean, Planned Parenthood has said again and again and again that this is not a widespread problem, that this is just, you know, one or two or three clinics. Well, what we're seeing in these documents from this hearing is that at least 100 abortion clinics were involved in this. I mean, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. Do you think STEM Express is cooperating, and why is it so important that we get that cooperation in this investigation? Well, uh, I think what we're absolutely seeing is that abortion businesses are profiting off of these interactions. So what we're seeing is that STEM Express basically made this uh, to be a financially profitable thing and advertised it as such to abortion clinics. And they put in a full-time person into abortion clinics. They paid their salary. They paid, you know, benefits and everything so that any, any financial benefit that Planned Parenthood or other abortion clinics were receiving weren't going just to cover the cost of these transactions because that was totally covered. So what's obvious here is that the abortion clinics were making money. And why that is an issue is because it's illegal for anyone to profit off of the sale of fetal tissue. So the questions that are being raised seem very legitimate. Why is this panel meeting such opposition? You know, it's a great question, and I think it's because we're uncovering really seedy behavior here and potentially illegal behavior. The other side doesn't like that. Why do you think it's important that the investigation continue until we have a complete report? It's, well, it would be totally unethical as we're beginning to see more and more illegal behavior, or potentially illegal behavior, illegal behavior, for the panel not to continue covering this. I mean, it's an absolute necessity, ethically speaking. Do you think we'll get to the bottom of the facts and will something happen as a result? We saw fact after fact after fact come out of this last committee, so I just really encourage that panel to continue despite the other side, you know, trying to make this into something that it's not. Jeannie Mancini with March for Life. It's always good to see you. Thank you. It's a you. pleasure. Thanks for having me, Brian.